Hello, hello, my beautiful booze. I've got a video for you guys today. I was asked to show a video of doing my nail prep. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm actually going to file off these nails here, these uh, uh, Galaxy nails. I'm going to file them off and I'm just going to take my favorite drill, which is my Aerosy drill. I use this drill all the time, but I'm using this drill. I'm also using my um carbide bit here from uh wilson's it's on aliexpress i'll try to leave the link down below for you guys but it's a five in one drill bit it's for right or left hand and it's totally amazing it shaves off the nail and it literally smooths in the process it does so amazing guys i cannot live without this drill bit it is absolutely my favorite um, but anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and file these or um, I'm going to file these down. I'm going to try to take off the product. Now, I'm, when I'm using my drill bit, what I like to do is go from sidewall to sidewall, one direction, and then I go from the cuticle down. That way it helps shave the product off. Once I shave off what I want, then I go back to going sidewall to sidewall and then I do I just keep repeating those steps until I get a thin layer on top of my nails but anyways I'm going to let you watch this and let you see how I file the product off and then once I get to the prepping part then I will explain to you what I'm going to do there so I'm going to go ahead and let you watch this a little bit and I will be right back
All right, so I'm going to be taking this cuticle pusher here. I'm going to push back all of my cuticles very lightly, and I'm also going to take and use the other end to clean out from underneath my cuticles and around it, I'm trying to make sure there is no um, cuticle left on the skin or anything. So you do want to make sure you're doing this very gently, very carefully. Um, and get as much as you possibly can. I will be using my drill as well and my cuticle bit um, because like I said sometimes this cuticle pusher doesn't always get all of it off but um, I'm going to go ahead and do all these fingers and then I'm going to show you what I'll be doing with my drill. So I'm just taking a uh, 180 sanding band. You do want to make sure that you are very careful with this. Um, it can still drill into your nails and stuff, so be very careful when using these. Um, I have mine anywhere between three, about 3,000 RPM on my drill, and I very lightly am going to go over my nails to make sure all that acrylic is now I usually leave a clear layer of acrylic on my nails whether it be acrylic or poly gel but I'm just going to go over top of this to make sure that I get all the color from the previous acrylic off and I'm also going to go around my cuticles as well because I just want to make sure there's no dead skin uh, or cuticle you know that's going to create any lifting for me so just gently go over it do not put any pressure when doing this. You just literally have to run it over your nail. Uh, if you have any lifting, uh, just make sure that you're uh, that you get that all removed. Because if not, if you already have previous lifting from acrylic or anything, it will cause the product that you put on top to lift as well. So we're just going to make sure that I have it all gone here. There was a little bit right here on the edge. That happens sometimes at the uh, sidewalls if you, um, which I work, so I'm really rough on my hands anyways, but I'm just going to go around and make sure it's all gone.
Okay, so I actually had this little ball bit here, and I got this from Anel Couture, and I'm just gonna go around and actually I'm gonna turn it down first of all to about 3,000. I'm just gonna go around and make sure that because um, this takes away like dead skin it takes anything off of the nail a really small small cuticle bit and I am actually gonna go around like this and get the rest of what the um, other bit didn't get because what it what the other the ball bit what it does it actually pushes the skin back to as well so that way you can actually see if there's still product or not but I'm telling you guys, like, no matter how much you do, it seems like I always go back and there's still more to be done, you know?
All right, so, and then, like I say, you know, once you're ready to apply um, product, of course, you want to do, you want to prep and prime, of course. I like the, um, I actually use, I use Enel Couture. I've used it for years. Um, you can get a prep and prime from Amazon, from Model Ones. They have a really good prep and prime as well that's a lot uh, less expensive. And, um... I've been hearing a lot of really good things actually about the prep and prime from model ones um, but you can find it on Amazon um, but yeah anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned to see what I do I still have to do this side sorry <laughs> but anyways I love you guys have a great day bye